We are very interested in uranium. For one thing, it plays no known biological role, yet microorganisms do interact with uranium in the environment. It is both radioactive and toxic as a heavy metal, and its heavy anthropogenic use has resulted in vast contamination, as you can see here, from nuclear reactors, uh, even uh, accidental spills, and also from uh, nuclear bombs. Uh, there is the possibility of using microorganisms to bioremediate the uranium contaminated sites. Some of them, like uh, the group Geobacter, live in this uh, environment surrounded by contaminants. So this has raised the possibility of stimulating their activities right in the environment to clean up uranium. The biological mechanism that enables this bacteria in the Geobacter group to reduce uranium has just recently been elucidated. And it involves the production of hair-like protein filaments that we called pili for the Latin hair. And these pili are conductive and they connect the cell to the uranium, they bind the uranium and they reductively precipitate it. So you go in a reaction from hexavalent uranium, which is toxic and soluble, to a less soluble tetravalent form that is immediately precipitated. Geobacter uses these conductive nanofilaments, the pili, to reduce the uranium outside the cell. And in the laboratory, we actually constructed strains with different levels of piliation, and we found a direct correlation between the levels of pili of the cell and the ability to reduce the uranium, which you can see in this graph, a perfect linear correlation. Not only that, we notice also that the catalytic activity of the pili was preventing the uranium from permeating inside the cell, and as a result, it increased the cell survival rate despite the exposure to uranium. These studies have allowed us to create a model for the extracellular reduction of uranium in which the conductive pili function as the primary uranium reductase of the cell. The cell's outer surface is also decorated with redox active proteins, mostly cytochromes, and our investigation showed that they assist the pili as well, not only in their catalysis but also their protective role.